Okay, I am back. Let me turn this TV down. I'm streaming from my Xbox. What I'm going to do first is I am going to mess around with this costume. Hold on, where is it? I was playing a little bit off camera because I was doing some motifs and just getting a little of those things out of the way. But I'm going to mess, with, mess around with these armor styles and these weapon styles. Um, I noticed them a few weeks ago, but I haven't touched them. But I can't believe it's June is going to be here before I know it. Not that I was trying to level up for it, because I can go into Somerset, like, with my um, tune as is, but I just kind of, like, wanted, wanted to level her up a little bit, but, um, yeah, I had been feeling under the weather for, like, a week. I literally, like, struggled through work all week. So yeah, let me, hold on, let me, I couldn't talk, my throat was like, really, I actually had to be on antibiotics, I still am actually, but, hold on, collections, okay, here they are, armor styles, I actually purchased, um, some motifs from a guild trade. So I added some on there. But I was, as I was looking through it, because at first I didn't have any mine. But as I was looking through it, I noticed a lot of the styles. Like if you. I like a lot of the styles. I'm going to mess around with the colors before I start questing again. And. her in a row. I can only imagine the amount of styles I would have if I was on my PlayStation when I first started I have a lot of motifs that I actually have to wait to go back on sale and so I don't have a lot of the motifs that I would like to have I mean I could probably purchase them they're a lot of gold and my character is broke right now so so I will slowly build it well see yeah so it is what it is I really like the Khajiit styles, and I like the Wood Elf styles, so if I pick one, I'm going to go with, and these are really cheap. I guess the more you get, yeah, the higher cost a lot of them are. Oh, and it does depend on armor styles. I mean, if it's light, medium, or heavy. I don't really wear... Heavy armor. I like how a lot of it looks, but since I'm a magic user, I kind of like to stay lore friendly and not do heavy armor, even though, which is why I love ESO, you can just like make anything, but yeah. But I'm gonna go back to light in a minute. Just kind of looking around because I've never messed around with it. I noticed it, but I never messed around with it. So, I like this one a lot, so,
so I mean Okay, so I really like how okay, here we are. I'm a stupid Get out my way. So I see. He's still in my way. Okay, at the end of the day, it looks like no matter, hold on, maybe, get over there. There he is, he got in my way now. <laughs> I'm like, he's still in my way. Okay, no, I'm going to do equipment. I decided on the, I do like a lot of the North designs too, but I'm going to do this one. Um. with the wood elf so so it all looks right but Okay, I'm like, oh my god, I didn't pay attention. There was a worm called Sash. Okay, hold on, we go <laughs> back. I don't care too much for the Sash, but okay. I can't even see her leg, so just not. Okay, now the staff. Let me see. Now, I probably will. I don't have many. I have so many. Uh, it makes me more motivated to unlock more and to purchase more motifs or do more of the um, quest lines. Like, this style right here, I actually have on PlayStation. Now, whenever it becomes available again, I will buy it for the Xbox. This is, I just hated paying for two different, like, services, and I was only using PlayStation for ESO. Other than that, I didn't really even use, like, PlayStation Online, which is why I switched to Xbox, because I did. I played a lot of stuff online for Xbox, but, yeah, this, oh my god, I miss that style so much. I actually used to craft, craft so much um, equipment from that style, too. had this one as well so I mean okay anyway back to what I have so 
this is the widow. I don't really care for their staff styles. There was one that I saw when I Oh my god, this one's three thousand gold. And to a broke person, <laughs> a broke character that's a lot. I don't really care too much for that style anyway. But it was one that I really, really liked. Let's see. I mean I like this one. I don't have many options, but I will have more because I will pursue more and buy more or I just, I buy crown crates when I pay the monthly description so I can use like um, the custom, um, the color thing for the costumes and of course the craft bag because I can't live with, I form a lot, so I have to have a, okay, I like this one, the craft bag, so, but I usually buy crown crates with that money that I get when I pay my subscription, I guess I'll just do, okay, I guess this one, I'm not surprised, it's Khajiit, I am fond of Khajiit's styles so yeah I guess I get this one 300 I'm not gonna mess with my second one but and as far as my head yeah so I'm gonna apply Now, what I want to do, hold on, let me take off this costume. Because at first, I was just going to like recolor the costume. Because I like this armor, but I don't like that it's all black. gonna random I'm do the colors at random I like to pick them at random just so I don't put too much thought because if I do it like without randomizing everything oh my god oh isn't that lovely this one must have anyway that is all out um I like that color, but I can't believe that. I remember, and it wasn't that long ago where the colors used to actually be free. How much gold do I have on my, um, I need to make sure I got enough money for this. All right. Yes. Let's get out, okay. Because I don't have a lot of gold. 3,805. I need to do some more writs. <laughs> so I can, well, I'm going to quest. I'm about to start questing after this, too. But I change my um, character's style quite a bit. So, oh, it's charging me. Okay, it depends on the quality of stuff, too. So it'll be 2,950. Or one token. How much are these tokens? I'm gonna have to look into that. I mean, I like that. No, I don't like that. And I think it's the material or some of the colors make the equipment look a little worn because it's cloth. 
Like you can tell. Like, but I like this one. I, I guess I could settle for this. I mean, I like it. So, no, I'm not gonna buy a freaking outfit token. I wonder how much those things cost. Got an achievement, fully styled. Okay, so I'm broke. Er. 855 gold. So. Okay. Okay, so anyway. Now I'm going to. I was doing some of my writs, but I can't craft the chicken breast. I need to go out and kill me a chicken. So I can craft that and turn that writ in. But as for everything else, I'm going to do the Daughter of Giants main quest line because I did I did the Fighters Guild quest and the Mage Guild quest and the other one is, hasn't unlocked yet so I have to do this main quest line to unlock it. So that's what I'm going to do. Why is this still doing this? I don't understand why. Oh, maybe it was like in the heavy. Okay. I mean, I can only imagine the other motifs. <sighs> okay, let me click it. That that annoys me. Uh, like weird I like I favor a few styles like even with the housing I like Khajiit housing over all of the types of housing um with the clothing styles the equipment styles I like what else I like the Khajiit I actually like the rear guards a lot too and I guess I don't care too much for High elves because I see it so often. Hear now the lesson of the divine body. But yeah, so I am on my way to the harbor, the harborage, to do this quest line so I can unlock some more quests for the Mages Guild. Because one thing I did notice when, um, I completed the main quest line. The rest of the quest lines for the Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild kind of disappeared. And so, I kind of want to make sure I do it just for experience wise because I love lore. And I've actually, in my other MMO I've been playing forever, I found myself kind of, if I take my time and don't try to keep up with everyone else, which is what I like to do, I like to pace myself when I play any game. I hate when I feel rushed, and which is why I like this one. Even though there are new stories, like each story is in its own area, like even with this one, with me restarting and re-rolling a new, um, character I can play the very from the very beginning with this one or I can go to Morrowind and start that storyline or hey when Somerset starts in June which I will definitely be doing that one like ASAP but you know I can go and do that and it won't mess it won't mess with this area and this quest line so I mean I like that and that's ideal for someone like me or a lot of people who came from Elder Scrolls. I mean, even though a lot of people who play Elder Scrolls on consoles don't really... A lot of them complain they don't like ESO. I personally love it because it's definitely going to be a few years before we get another Elder Scrolls um, game. 
I mean, when you think about how long it's been since Skyrim even came out, and they're just, they're still trying to build on that. It's going to be forever. Probably two more years, probably. Before I speak. It is good to see you again, and I do see you in my own way. You're a wound in time, a tear in reality that shouldn't exist and cannot long endure. Fate speaks in riddles. Your fate was written in the scrolls long ago. It is entwined with the fate of the five companions. I have finally located Lyris Titanborn in Cold Harbor. She works a terrible forge under the lash of the great deceiver, Molog Baal. Her soul is in great danger. You must go to her. I can manifest a gate to that dark realm, but you must go quickly. Tread carefully in Molog Baal's realm. You are important. The scrolls have so named you. After Lyris took my place in the Wailing Prison so that we might escape, the Daedra moved her to the Foundry of Woe. It is a place of torment and despair. She toils endlessly, making weapons for the enemy. The God of Schemes invaded my mind many times during my imprisonment. It was a tortuous experience, but by forcing his way into my mind, he inadvertently opened his own thoughts to me, and thus created a chink in his own armor. We are connected, he and I. With concentration, I can see through his eyes. He feels my presence, and it fills him with rage. When you enter the foundry to recover Lyris, I can keep his attention focused on me. He will be blind to you for a time. It will be a far greater danger for you to enter Cold Harbor without this distraction. It is Molog Baal's realm, and his power there is great. I will endeavor to distract him in this manner whenever you travel there. Sometimes I can find like motifs and stuff here without trying to purchase them. So I like to search everything. search through everything. I'll go over to the rest in a second. I, rem I remember when I first played this game, I'm like, they're not really doing anything. They're not slaving away because they're just standing there. But when I think about like when you're crafting and stuff, how it looks like you're just standing there, <laughs> but you're actually doing stuff. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I just found that funny. Okay, so let me approach her. You, you're alive. 
Are you really here, or is this another trick? And he's still alive. Thank the gods. But you... You can't stay. You have to leave before they find you here. You don't understand. They've done something to me. I can't leave. It's hard to describe. My memories, my feelings, they've, they've been fragmented, ripped apart. And all the fragmented pieces have been locked away in different parts of the foundry. I tried. The Daedra took everything. My willpower, my courage, my sense of self. I'm an empty shell. And the fragments are reflections of my worst fears and most painful memories. I, I can't. I, I don't think I can face them. I'll do my best. Lead on. Lost souls are barely aware of their what humanity. What is that? <laughs> Guards don't even beat them anymore. graves. My mother died in childbirth. My father was distant. Cold. I think he blamed me for my mother's death. I ran off to become a mercenary when I was 16. I never saw my father again. He was murdered by an old enemy. Father? Papa. Is that you? Bastards! Die like the monster you are! Who are you? Why does Lyris walk with you? In life, I was Gyalden, father to Lyris. My spirit was torn from its rest and brought to this foul place. 
The Daedra forced me to experience my own murder again and again. I thought my torment would never end. I don't understand. Lyris was always a free spirit. Why would my presence bind her here? Lyris, is this true, child? So distant. My mother died giving me life. It was my fault. I should never have been born. Lyris, look at me. The blood of giants flows through my veins. Your mother was a Nord. I gave her my seed without thought for her safety. That's why she died. Not because of you, child. Because of me. I thought you blamed me. You couldn't even look at me, Papa. Do you not see? When I looked at you, I saw her face. I loved her, child. Just as I love you. More than life itself. We cannot change the past. Nor should we cling to it. You must not let these feelings haunt you. Let them go. Let me go. I love you too, Papa. Rest now. Be at peace. He's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. Alright, so there's nothing else left to find here, so... This place is a labyrinth of hopelessness built to compound the misery of those who labor here. Do you know what area I have not quested? Um, is the Riften Windhelm area. There, because the starting area for Dark Elves and stuff is so freaking bleak that I just never did it. But luckily you don't have to do that now. So... I definitely want to quest in those areas because I remember when I first had access to those areas. I just wanted to see how they look and I love how much bigger they are in ESO. But I kind of miss the charm of how they look in Skyrim. But like I said, I like how much bigger. And obviously, because it is an MMO, they have to be bigger. But did you get all the pieces? Yeah, I stashed them in the footlockers all around camp. I bet the commander makes a run 50 laps this time. Let's open the seat and get those slashing. All right, let's get back to it. Act natural. Did you find something? I can't believe it. This armor is who I am. It's what I am. A warrior without her armor is like a bear without claws. Excellent. I'm ready. Oh, he's frozen. I'm like, why is he still standing? <laughs> Hold on, let me make sure my experience didn't seem too high. 
So, okay, my effects were off. I figured, because I'm like... Sorry about that. My house phone started to ring. Yes, I still have one of those. Just in case of an emergency. You never know when cell phone lines go down and stuff when you might need it. So I had to. And no one calls it outside of my parents if I don't answer my cell phone and obviously a bunch of telemarketers. So I had to make sure it wasn't my mom probably attempt to call my cell phone and I wasn't picking up because sometimes that happens so I'll, like from work or something I'll keep it on silent and yeah and um I forget to take it off of silent because I have my kid and I don't really care when it rings and I'm not you know watching it like a whole but <clears throat> yeah so what's this set all the mining has made these tunnels unstable Yeah, some things you do in this game <coughs> excuse me calls for like first person like I like playing in first and third person so like when I'm in a battle if I'm fighting I prefer third person so I can see everything and I can dodge when need I just like to see everything I still got hit I like how I'm receiving Fighter's Guild experience too, which wouldn't have been happening if I hadn't joined the Fighter's Guild before I came back and did the second one. So I just want to cover all my bases because I want to experience this game at its fullest. I know it might take forever to do that because <laughs> it's so much to do. should have expected to find you here. Don't be a fool, Titanborn. I'm trying to help you. Your hatred poisons you. Warriors are like steel. When you lose your temper, you lose your worth. Help me. You betrayed us all, then went back to licking Money Marco's boot before the smoke cleared. I did what I had to do. And as a show of my good intentions, I have a gift for you. But be warned, Cold Harbor will not give it up easily. Is that... Sure, Bones, it is. Vestige, that's my battle axe. Thank you. 
I was like really far away. How was I getting hit? But and that's why I hate. How was I getting hit? But I'm gonna refill here. When a better strategy. How was I getting hit? But and I've never had a hard time. Usually I kill them like so. I have my um, clan fear there so I can keep them away from me but that wasn't working for whatever reason or maybe because I was maybe because I was damaging him too much maybe I should just stay back in Probably why too. I probably didn't notice. Let me go. Alright, get it. Get him back. There we go. And that's probably what happened before, and I didn't pay attention. Any attention? Where? See, yeah, he kills him pretty fast. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, as long as I can keep resurrecting, well, resummoning. <laughs> Alright, get up. <laughs> that was a lot. I take my time and don't rush into stuff. to have you back. Are you thirsty for Daedric blood, old friend? Wrong way. Oh yeah, because she has to break down that. Come on. Oh, I gotta talk to her. My axe. Oh, it feels good to have it back. It's part of me. Losing it was like losing an arm. I don't know. I don't trust him and I never will. But it's odd. The blind hatred I felt when I saw him. I could have strangled him with my bare hands. But now, I think he was right. That hatred was poisoning me. Better. Stronger. Almost whole again. <laughs> Isn't that strange? I feel powerful enough to take on Umaril the Unfeathered himself. I feel like a warrior again. We're not done yet. We need to keep moving forward. The passage is blocked by a rock slide, but now that I have my axe back, I might be able to break through it. Stand back! No damn pile of pebbles is gonna stop me now! So many Daedric beasties, so little time. We need to keep moving.
I almost feel like... Should be almost done with this place soon. Ooh, I don't notice when. But it's just for stamina, but still worth it. Did you hear that? It sounded like it sounded like it couldn't be. Her honey. <laughs> It's me. We're seeing some kind of vision of you. Do you know where you are? I... I don't know. They're torturing me. They want the Amulet of Kings. Want me to tell them where it's hidden. But I haven't broken. Not yet. Scythe, you need to hold on. We're going to find you. I'll make sure of it. We'll find you. Somehow we'll get you out of there. Scythe? Scythe! No! no! Bring him Bring back, him you back, bastards! That was no trick. That was Sai Sahan. Sai's a friend. Maybe my best friend. We need to find him and get him out of there. We need to tell the Prophet about this. He'll know what to do. But first, we need to find a way out of here. I don't care what else they throw at us. Nothing is going to keep me from helping Sai. What's the point of keeping them locked up like this? When they're already dead. <laughs> I like how you can find all these patterns too for your house in this in since my she does not have a house but my goal is to get Serenity Falls and that's like one of the big three I mean I remember they had <clears throat> excuse me the house on sale out there um on the Gold Coast but that's like I don't really care too much at all so I didn't I wasn't too impressed but Serenity Falls is ideal it's a Khajiit styled house um I'm actually after this I'll um do I know that one? no I don't yeah any if I find a recipe that I do know I just put it in my bank 
um, for whenever I roll a new tune or if I have a new, um, if my other um, character that I use, my other tune I use, if they don't know the recipe, I'll do it that way. But I like using, oh, it's my pet. I'm like, what the heck is that? When did I become so obsessed with like recipes and stuff? Oh, it was, um, it's not funny, but when I, um, and this, this anime is kind of like, either you, you like it or you don't. Something's wrong. All the doubt. Fear. Okay, I'm gonna yes. fan. It's all coming back. I have to push through this. Let's go. Oh, see, look, not the dark elf style, but it's already in my library, and I know my other tune that I use uh, also knows it, so I won't have to buy it again, I'll just put it in my bank for if I roll a new, I mean, unless they create a new magic class, I probably won't roll a new one, I, I am more for combat far away, I don't like close combat, even though sometimes when I am fighting I do stand close, but pretty much I find a match to use this. It's the source of all my fears, I can hear it whispering to me, taunting me. Yeah, even in WoW, when I play, my, um, my maxed out are and a warlock. When I, I honestly say I enjoy playing warlock more for lots of but I like playing mage. Like maybe I'll roll a druid. That's all. I hate how evil warlock as hall looks. <laughs> That's expected. You don't realize how dark they are until you're in the class hall, and it's like, oh my god. Which is why I ended up rolling. But I was my mind drifting out. Come on, on. You did it. The voices are whispering. It's gone. This whole time it was like watching myself in the distance. Disconnected. And I can say the creators and stuff of ESO, they're pretty smart. You, with your subscription, you unlock the DLCs. But if you want extra stories, like the expansions, like Morrowind or Somerset, you have to purchase them. But it's cool because it's better than spending all that money on all of the DLCs. Just, I'm fine. Are you all right? The vestige freed my mind from the dangerous control. Thank the divine. Your loss would have thrown all into chaos. They won't take me again. Not alive, at least. Prophet, Menemarko captured Sai Sahan. He's torturing him to find out where the Amulet of Kings is hidden. We have to rescue him. You brought Lyris back, and largely intact from the look of her. And she will need time to recover. One does not leave such a place unscarred. What did he say? Did Sai tell you where he is being held? 
Then we must locate him before Menemarco forces him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. Did he? I thought he had firmly aligned himself with Minamarco and his worm cult. Curious one, curious one. As you saw in my visions, the amulet's misuse ripped a hole in the barrier that protects Tam Real from the forces of oblivion. That damage must be undone, and the amulet is the key. But to find the amulet, we must first locate Sai Sahan. For now you must leave me to my meditation. I must set my mind to the task of locating Sai Sahan. Until then, embrace the unknowable. The drops of water cannot know themselves to be a river, yet the river flows on. Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. Who can know the logic of a Daedric prince? I will call upon you again when the time is right. Farewell, Vistage. My name is Lyris of Skyrim, called Titanborn by some. I'm committing these words to paper on behalf of my friend and ally, a man history will remember as the prophet. It was through his profound insight and his study of the Elder Scrolls that we came that we came understand the dire nature of the threat that now endangers all of Tamriel. Let it be known by those who read these words that the soul burst event that took place in the 579th year of the second era was due to the treachery of a single elf, the outmere necromancer Minamarco, the king of worms, and a servant of the most vile, vile Daedric princess, the god of schemes, the lord of brutality, Morong Baal. In years past, Minamarco served as chief advisor to the court of Emperor Varen, I can't pronounce his last name. Aquilirios, <laughs> originally a Duke of Coral, Varen became Emperor Emperor of Tamriel by right of conquest. With Minamarco's council, Varen led a revolt against the previous dynasty, the, fa the savage regrime of Reachmen, known as the Longhouse Emperors. Yet, despite his conquest and victory, Varen was not to be a true emperor. Like the former emperor, Leovic, the blood of the dragon, didn't flow through Varen's veins. He was unable to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One, as a true emperor must, by tradition. Well, duh. The dragon fires have remained unlit for generations. This is because the Amulet of Kings, a relic of the divines gifted unto Saint Alessia by Akatosh, was lost in the centuries following fall of the Riemann dynasty. Only this relic, traditionally worn by emper imperial emperors of the first era, would allow a true-blooded ruler to spark the dragon fires anew. At Minamarco's urging, Varen formed a group of companions to join him on an epic quest to locate this relic. These companions included myself, the Red Guard, Swordmaster Sai Sahan, Grand Chancellor, Arbor Tharn and Minamarco himself. For years we scoured the face of Tamriel following countless leads until we finally, finally managed to locate it. When we returned to the Imperial City, Minamarco played upon Varen's insecurities and convinced him that the coronation ritual properly modified could not only light the dragon fires, but persuade Akatosh to invest him of divine agency and gift him with the blood of, of the dragon. 
it was only after the coronation ritual was attempted that we learned the extent of Minamarco's deception. The King of Worms used his magic to corrupt the power of the amulets, causing the calamity which came to be known as the Soul Burst. I remember very little of this actual event, only that the chaos that followed was immediate and devastating. Varen was consumed by the fiery wrath of the Soul Burst. Saisa Han and I were unjustly implicated in his death, made all the more suspicious because Sai fled as soon as he recovered, taking the Amulet of Kings with him. Grand Chancellor Tharn was opportunist and immediately cast his lot with Minamarco. He is such a snake. The Prophet's story is one of the mystery. He appeared one day on the steps of an abbey of the moth priest of Cyrodiil. They took him in and fed him, thinking he was nothing more than a vagabond. Once they were shocked when they found him in the libraries that night, poring over the eldritch etchings of an elder scroll. Now, why was the moth priest in Cyrodiil? I can't remember much. I wonder if they were mentioned. Only the moth priests themselves had the ability to, to read scrolls saw his arrival as a prophetic sign from the divines. As they do all who read them, the Elder Scrolls eventually took the prophet's eyesight, leaving him permanently blinded, and yet he continued to study them in his mind's eye, and eventually foresaw the great and terrible threat that we are now faced with. Word of his prophecy spread far and wide, eventually reaching the imperial city and the ears of Minamarco. The King of Worms immediately arrested the prophet for rumor mongering and treason and had the abbey and all of its contents burned to the ground. The catastrophe that, that the prophet predicted began to take shape almost immediately. Vast swaths of the empire were consumed by Daedric fire and the first dark anchors fell upon the land. Molenbalg's invasion of our world begun, made possible by Minamarco's You know, I've, I've always just to stop the glowing. I would just click on them and click through. But I think as I unlock each one or I rescue each one, I'm going to read their books. That was interesting. It gives you like a, the, well, the backstory. Because you saw a little bit when you walked with the prophet. Just, you saw the soul burst, but you didn't see all of that. So now that I've done the Daughter of Giants quest, I wonder if that will unlock the next Mages Guild quest and the Fighters Guild quest. As far as the Thieves Guild, the Dark Brotherhood and stuff like that, I'll do those eventually. But like I said, I'm more focused on quests related to the main storyline. That includes like quests with Razendar and um, the Queen. Those are kind of like on the back burner as well for right now. Even though, you know, I find myself strained to those quests every now and then. To there you are, best interest. Come to the harborage. We must speak. Okay, I'm not going back there yet. I am going to go to the Mages Guild. I should have to go to the one the Skywatch gets, but I'm going to see. I'm going to stop at the Mages Guild here, and then I'll go to Skywatch just to make sure to see if anything has unlocked. Yeah, the other staff I have is a, um, <clears throat> I have a damage staff in my main hand and a restoration staff. And sometimes I forget that I have a restoration staff in my second 
as my backup weapon, and I have to remember that. So when I'm in battle and I need to heal, I can just whip out that restoration staff to heal myself instead of dying because I can't drink a potion or something. Here you can see the third law of arcane pyrodynamics in action, class. Do not treat these concepts lightly. Okay, nothing here. I'm gonna go to the Fighters Guild and then I'll go up to Skywatch really fast to see if the next quest signs for those unlock. The guild requests your help. Oh, okay, never mind. There it is. Comrade, I have an urgent message for you. Guildmaster Sees All Colors would like to see you as soon as possible. She said the journal has revealed something about the Vivicus, whatever that is. She awaits you at the Guild Hall. You can find her in the hall in Eldenroot, Comrade. May the Eight protect you. No idea. Word around the hall is that she's been working day and night on some mysterious project. I've even seen some mages' guild scribes wandering around the place. Strange. Oh, I have to go all the way to Elden Root? God. I guess that... I mean, that is the main... city and all, so I guess it makes sense, but... Can I, hopefully, I can just teleport there, and I don't have to... Probably can. I probably can teleport to the coast. And then I'll have to make my way up there. Which could take some time. But I need to go to Elden Root anyway. I mean, why not unlock, unlock the path and stuff to get there? Let me see. Wow, okay. So I guess this would be Somerset. I'm excited about it. Okay, so... Crap. How the hell... Hold on. Screen figuring out how I'm going to get there. And I might have to do the quest with Rasmodar and stuff, because I can't remember how I even got there. I think I did do a lot of the quest, and it did unlock a way to get to that, that area. I think this only takes me to Canarchy's The inspector checked my cargo already. Where do you need to go? I have business in Canarthi's Roost. I can take you to Eagle Strand at no charge. But do not mention me to the locals, yes? Why is that what his... I have the eye thing, but really... Okay, anyway. I don't even know. I wonder where he got that from, though. He or she, it might be a girl. I don't know. Are there any other boats over here that can take me where I need to go? This one can't stand the grog in Volkel Guard. Can't wait to get back on the water. I hope you like it.
Trade feeds Volkogard like rain feeds a tree. The only thing that annoys me is that we're on the ocean. There aren't any waves, and it's like even if you're on a lake, there are actually more waves than that. This, I mean, maybe if you're on a river, then it's like this. Cause yeah, I mean, honestly, I've seen more waves in the river here in Ohio. <laughs> Water looks different in every harbor. Love the shallows here. Oh, hold on. Maybe she explained Our next run, I'm going to volunteer for the crow's nest. Tired of stinking cargo, stinking crewmates, stinking captains. Bah. <laughs> I love what else. You're no sailor. I can tell by the smell. Oh, what was she saying to Our next part? run, I'm going to volunteer for the... Water looks different in every harbor. Love the shallows here. The shallows? Maybe that's why the water is like that here? But it's like this on every beach. Oh, no. It's good to see you, friend. You will always have a place aboard the crowd. Okay. I could have swore there was a way I could... Or maybe it's that over there. Hold on, let's see. Okay, is this her? State your destination. I'll add you to the list. Tell me. Ratwood. Okay. Okay, cool. Cause I figured I'm like it had to be a way to get over there, but I couldn't remember. So yeah. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to travel by mount and foot to get to Elden Root which will take some time because it's there's that town in between that has like this conflict going on i'd rather get the quest out of the way so it's not hostile out there so when i'm going back and forth but that quest shouldn't take very long and once i'm through there then it's a straight shoot to elden root so and i can get to the fighters guild hall there and maybe the new quest for the Mage's Guild will pop up as well. Hold on. Am I already there? What? Never mind. That journey, I thought... See, I thought I was going to end up here. And I was going to have to travel through... Well, that was a surprise. I wasn't expecting to be, like... Right here in Elden Root. Okay. Well, that saved me the journey. I don't... <clears throat> I guess that's because she's a navigator. And there... Okay. Well, I'm not going to explain. So, anyway. Now, I'm about to go to the... To talk to Seize All Colors. Because I just knew I was going to have to make that journey. But I guess not. I don't know. I guess... That was the point of having the navigators or whatever. Wait for everything to load. Why does it take this long? Well, it's like weird because like my internet speed is Fi Optics. I have Fi Optics internet speed, so it's really fast. But yet, uh huh. So I'm just gonna stand here and let it load. But So I only got a repair kit. City of Ash. I'm gonna do the dungeon finder. But okay, there we go. I'm one step closer to 20. I swear I've never gotten to level 20 so fast. Ever. The leveling has definitely sped up. 
I remember I used to take forever to level. One thing I do like to that was changed as well, which shows how long I've been playing this and gotten nowhere. <laughs> how like when you used to do Ritz, because when I attempted to quest in Riften once, I I attempted and I was a part of this alliance. And when I fulfilled a writ in Riften, it was it was trying to make me come all the way to Elden Ring just to turn it in. And now it just makes you turn in your writs at the closest, um, dock, what are they called? Pretty much at the closest place. So if I were to do, if I were to do a writ in, fulfill a writ in Riften or Windhelm, I could turn it in there and I wouldn't have to come all the way to my home alliance to turn it in, which makes more sense. And... But at the same time, I guess I got why it was that time. Because if you're fulfilling writs there and you're not in that alliance, why would you want to fund their alliance or whatever? But I get it. But they pretty much gone and made this an open world. And it's only it only matters what alliance you're in if you're doing PvP. Which as it should be. But I think... I don't know if they have. They should make a server, like, where if you do see people from the opposing alliances, it's like they're instantly an enemy. A PvP server. Lady in the PvP. Well, it looks like the lady in the PvP. We're seeing all colors. Oh, I don't think we've met, comrade. I handle all special contracts involving the worm cult. Dark anchors are everybody's problem, no matter your political leanings. I have an available contract if you'd like a taste of real fighters guild work. Our Grotwood chapter has an open contract to seek out worm cult activity. Valen Wood has long resented Molog Ball's destruction of Gil Vardell, so Elden Root is happy to foot the bill. The task is simple. Destroy any dark anchors you find in Grotwood. I won't be fulfilling that anytime soon, because if I start doing that, I'm going to start questing in this area, and I'm going to, like, find myself... Oh, she must be above me. So I'm only here for the guilds, but then I'm going back to Ordon to quest and stuff. Because I think, you know, once you do the Queen's questing in Ordon, it leads you to, um, what is this place called? Green Shade. I think it's, it leads you to, yeah, Green Shade. So... This is a big tree, but I feel like it's the safest. Good to see you again, comrade. You recall our encounter with Dosha, yes? When we found her encoded journal? Yes, we called in several favors to do it, but we've cracked her cut. In service to her dark master, 
Dosha was after something hidden in a dwarven ruin, a place known as Mazena. We're not sure, but it seems to have something to do with that more tomb Vivicus her notes mention. Mazenelt is far from here, but I've prepared a portal that will carry us across Tanriel. What do you say, comrade? Venture with me into the unknown? I will open the portal. Takes just a moment. I have enough of my inventory on that. Here we go. Hold on, see how colors. I shall be there. Dosha was no scholar. She did nothing idly. The river has brought us here for a reason. A treasure of some kind. A potent weapon or an epic spell. Dosha respected only one thing. Power. Whatever it is, we must get it away from here. Dosha knew of this place, and so others do as well. If we don't retrieve whatever it is, others will come. And it must have something to do with that more tomb Vivicus. If Molag Baal plans to unleash that weapon again, we must stop it. A holdfast of the Dwemer, the dwarves. We're somewhere in Hammerfell, I think, near the South Dragontail Mountains. Or so Dosha's notes say. <laughs> if I did, I'd be the wisest woman in Tamriel, comrade. No, no one knows what made the dwarves disappear. Or at least, no one is saved. Why does the river take us anywhere? The Dwemer built complexes all throughout northern Tamriel. My guess is that we're at this ruin for a treasure of some kind. If just any dwarven ruin would do, there are closer places than Mazeno. I remember I was watching this YouTube channel about what if they decided to bring the dwarves back. I think the dwarves are better off staying gone and having like their ruins, you know, pretty much speak of their past and you know, what could have been the reason why they disappeared or maybe there should be a DLC based on the history of the dwarves or maybe I think the biggest thing about them is the mystery of why. Like, why this highly advanced group of people, humanoids, disappeared. And that's, that's why it's so fascinating. Because, I mean, the dwarves are known to be innovators in war, no matter, you know, in most, like, war involving dwarves. But here, it's like, and, and then I remember watching a video that I guess someone found a book or something in, was it a book or ready, Skyrim? Comrade. These constructs know no mercy. And it kind of described their appearance and they're not like short and stubby like you would expect. They're actually like taller. So I don't know. I think it'd be interesting, but I think it's a matter of how it's presented. Oh. At me. That's dangerous. Oh. Oh, 
I didn't pay attention. He's a, um... Oh no, he's coming after me. Don't come after me. <laughs> oh, see? I was just thinking about my freaking... I was just thinking about... Before you arrived. The past may not lay quietly here. So I guess when I get to my health gets like towards the middle halfway down, I'll switch to my restoration staff just to be more careful. But I was just about to do it. I wasn't expecting that last attack. Dosha was no... Damn it. Corino is dead. The weapon will be lost forever. No, there's still hope. Osterand will have to do it. Oblivion, take you. I can't. We can still succeed. But you'll have to enact the sacrifice, my friends. Without a soul in the crystal, there will be no way to repair the weapon. It must be done, Osteran. A sacrifice? What did they come here to do? The skill it took to craft these constructs. Amazing.
swear a sees all colors just disappears. How big is this place? I don't even know where I started. <laughs> Just think what this place must have looked like in the time of the Dwemer. I owe everything to Indarir. I can't pronounce that name. He saved me from the dark manipulations of the sea. Oh my god, these Meridia. To think I would let him attempt this mission without me at his side. I don't know the details, but I know where we're going and anything. That puts a shiv in Malabal's eye would make me rest easier. We barely escaped Abagalas. The fighting was intense, and I still can't believe what happened. Since making our escape, vampire assassins and ghoulish huntsmen have dogged our every step. The next entry, Kirino says we're heading to Mazundel. Mazundel? I forgot how she pronounced it. I'm not sure how a dwarven city figures into the plan, but I'm not here to think. The next one says, our goal is to safeguard that crystal they took from the weapon and some book. We've been searching the mountains for weeks now, traveling far into the eastern peaks in St. Mer. I wonder, Endar has lost his mind. But then again, there's a lot I don't understand about this trip. At least I'm still alive. And I guess that's Lanoff, maybe. We barely survived the last wave. Balash is injured. We'll never hold against the dead and the constructs. Posturon is right. You need time. I'll lead the dead away down another branch in the tunnels. Lanaf, don't. Lanaf. You'll never survive the swarms. If my death buys you the time it needs. For Deladiel and Meridia! Giving yourself willingly to the river's current. Noble. Yeah, so that was her body. purpose of seize all colors. She doesn't even help me fight sometimes. Dosha was no And a split in the path. Which way shall we go, comrade?
both lead us to where we need to go. I guess we'll go this way. Amazing, these halls remain intact. A moment. A moment. This may be this crucial. crucial. My love, my love. Asteron. If you're going to do it, you have to do it now. I'm dying. I can't. Don't die on me, Alasha. I can't do this. You must, my love. Or Molag Ball has won. It's what she wants, Asteron. This is why we came here. Do it. Goodbye, my love, my Valasha. Valasha's journal remains. Perhaps it will shed more light on what's going on here. Okay, this is Valasha's journal. I still can't believe we're alive. I've never been to. A, I've never seen a city like Ab 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 Galash. The horrors I witnessed there are etched into my dreams. We do not live through. Um, we do not, we do live though. I have my Asteron and we have the crystal. That's all that matters. Since entering the Dwarven city, Kurano has grown quiet. Today I learned why. She took me aside to talk. She believes someone must be sacrificed to the crystal before we hide it. What? Se several powerful priestess gave their lives to see it forged in the first place, she said. It makes sense. Morlon Bob revels in undeath and destruction. A life given willingly and bound would be an anathema to that fiend. Kirino asked me if I'm willing to make the sacrifice when the time comes. I am. I am very afraid. Astrond and I were betrothed just weeks ago. He was furious when I told him of Kirino's request, and I was afraid. And so I prayed. I spoke with Meridia for hours. I knew before I knelt that it would be my duty to accept the burden. The burden. But duty, honor, they're just words. Compared to the feel of Astron's hand on my cheek, how could I willingly agree? In the end, it was Astron that I, that it was for Astron that I agreed. With my death, I can ensure the future of our world. Nern will have need of the weapon again, and my light will last forever, bound to the crystal's heart. How could any priestess of the sunburst turn it down? Oh, she's a priestess of the sunburst. Another journal. Amazing it's still preserved. May I see it? The water begins to clear. Two cities, one warships Meridia, the other Molag Bal. 
Abagarlis, the city of the dead, creates a relic to strike at the meridians. Deladil, city of light, creates their own weapon, forged around a heart of crystal. Just so. These ancient ones steal into the heart of the enemy with this crystal weapon. They stop the ritual, and their king ends the dark rule of Abagarlis. But they are hunted, so they try to find a haven, a place to hide the crystal. Okay, well, at least I know how to pronounce the city right now. Abagaris is the name of the city. You have the right of it. They sought to hide their prize, but the priestess of gave her life. She relit the crystal heart so that the weapon could one day be forged anew. The journals also speak of a tome, instructions for creating the weapon. The crystal heart of the weapon and the means to construct it lie here somewhere in these ruins.
can't hold them. You have to go. I'm not leaving. We died when we agreed to this quest. We just kept walking the while. Hide the crystal. Hide the toad. Go! Such bravery in the face of certain death. His body is a journal. Nor is a journal. So he must have made it? Never mind, here he is. <laughs> Look at that. It's just the two of us now. We've been down here in the dark for so long. I don't know what day it is. Osteron is quiet, even as the sounds get closer. He misses Balash. Balasha a great deal. I could see it on his face. We're trapped as far as we can tell. The doors forward refuse to open, no matter how long we tug on them. I think we I think we may have it. It's taken us days to figure it out, but the guardian constructs in this room contain strange red crystals that glow from within. They look like they'll fit into the sockets near the doors. With a little more time, I believe we can find a way though. The constructs, they, the constructs, they've broken through. I think this will be the end. Goodbye, Lanessa. Wherever you are, I love you. No, this is my last words. I loved you. So what? I only see one body here, though. So one of them made it through. Okay, here's the crystals. He's talking about. I saw that one right there, but it was nice. easy. So, if I go this way, oh, it just leads to the other door. So, let me go up here. And once again, everything's empty.
dead centurion. A fitting resting place for my beloved. Crystal is in that steam centurion. We must destroy it. That sucks. Thought the centurion was was dead, and they actually had some juice. Before I fight this thing. Is there anything around here that can attack me if I run here? Last thing I want to do is be overwhelmed. There's probably so much, well, not probably. There's so much lore in these books. I wish the creators, if there was ways, like, there are people like me who actually like to read the lore books. Like, in Oblivion, I would always collect them and read them, like, in my own time. There's a way, like all the books we open, for them to be stored somewhere in options where we can read them later. I would like to, but I just feel like it's not reasonable to be in the middle of a dungeon or a delve and stop and read like a few pages. I, I mean, read period. Because I open them mostly for the skills. But it'd be nice, like, in my own time or a different time, I can read that. Okay, this is Ostron's diary. <clears throat> I did everything I did, everything I had to do at Abagala. Abagala I forgot to pronounce it already again. Abagalaras. I'll never forget the sight of that place, the feeling that washed across me. The sight haunts me. The hunters hound our every step. They smell it on me. I know it. They know I was there. They can smell the blood of that dark family on my armor. I can hear them in the night. I pray to the sunburst that we will soon find shelter. This ruin seems as good a place as any. If we can find a safe place to hide the crystal, perhaps the constructs will, will allow us to, to escape the dead. Malasha told me she plans to sacrifice herself for some ludicrous plan. Some fantasy that Kirino has filled her head with. The crystal is lost. Its power gone. I argue with Kirino for hours. Now, Velasha won't even speak to me. Velasha finally broke the silence. She's adamant that this must happen. I understand her duties as a priestess of Meridia, but I never believed they'd lead her to self-sacrifice. Her beliefs come first. I cannot fault her for that. I just wish our story wasn't going to end this way. He was really torn up about that. Ooh, here's the Iliad's home. Now I gotta get that sucker there. <sighs> Alrighty. Hope I don't die. Hold on, before I do that, before I do that, how about this? It restores everything immediately. I'm gonna sign that here instead of that, and it restores it. So that's good. Let's go with now. Oh, it's not. Obviously, that one alive, and right, that's gone. Yeah. 
Well done. Now, to leave this place. We've succeeded where that withered root dosha failed, comrade. Here, I will open a portal for us to return. Take the crystal and the tome. Give them to Merrick, and he can begin learning what it will take to forge the weapon. I have something I must attend to, comrade. The knowledge we have gained here has flooded my mind. I must mine the river's course. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Wait for her to leave. I mustn't speak with you. I'll see you down the river, comrade. Oh, here. Speak with me. I have only a moment to talk. You're in danger. Danger I can't fully comprehend. Not even in death. Someone close to you has plans. Plans for both of us. Plans to betray you. I am anchored. Contained. Pulled away. Beware, comrade. Yeah, after I speak to Merrick, I think I'm going to wind this down. It's been like two hours, so. I don't usually stream that long, but this has been entertaining, so. So let me speak to Merrick. So, Welcome back from the depths, comrade. Guildmaster Sees All Colors told me you'd have something for me. Thank you. I'll begin my research straight away. You'll be the first we contact once I know the details. In the meantime, Sees All Colors sends her regrets she couldn't stay. She said she had an urgent matter to attend to. Oh, I leveled up quite a bit, too. Okay, I am going to end this stream right here. That was very entertaining. I think the next time I hop on, which will be tomorrow, I will um, do the Mages Guild quest if it's available. If not, I will probably quest a little bit more Ordon, you know, with Razendar and the Queen and stuff. Um, I'll definitely see, but it's all going to be surrounding that until I move on to something else. So thank you to those who watch. Thank you to those who will watch in the future. And if you like my, if you like my um, streaming, please follow me here on Twitch. And I will see you guys tomorrow.